For more on the reopening of America's auto plants, we are joined right now by Michigan Senator Gary Peters. And Senator, thank you for being with us. Oh, great to be with you. Thank you. So uh, how are things going right now? Where do things stand in your state? Well, I think it's encouraging. We're starting to see things open up. Last week, we had uh, auto suppliers uh, beginning to open up, which was uh, an encouraging thing. Today, as you announced, uh, we've got our auto uh, assembly plants are starting to open up. We want to make sure that this is done in a very safe way. The auto companies have been working closely with the UAW. They put together some very extensive protocols uh, to make sure that they're keeping employees as safe as possible. Uh, so we will watch uh, very closely as this goes forward. But uh, certainly people in, in Michigan want to get back to work as long as they can do it safely. We have uh, seen the protests have kind of played out. Uh, why do you think that is? Are there some areas where people, um, maybe some areas of the state that have been more hard hit than others, leading to some frustration about those who can't go back to work? Uh, there is. Michigan is a very large state, so you have uh, different uh, kinds of uh, numbers that come out of different parts of the state. Uh, the governor has been working with a group of folks in the uh, in the business uh, as well as in healthcare to take a look at how we might treat different parts of the state differently. She's actually has different regions, and I think uh, in the days ahead, uh, you will likely see some uh, movement uh, to open some places uh, versus others. Uh, but it's got to be done uh, clearly in, in a thoughtful way. The the challenge of always trying to find that right balance of opening. We're all anxious to get it open, but when you do something today because of the, the time it takes for the disease to, to really show itself, you're talking about two weeks from now before you really know what happens. So you're, you're trying to steer a ship here and uh, turn the rudder, but you know it doesn't respond immediately, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, we're certainly we're seeing movement uh, towards opening an economy here in Michigan as the, the curve has been flattened, which is all uh, very encouraging. I think we're all cautiously optimistic, but we also have to be very careful about taking those next steps. You know, I was reading over the weekend about how some uh, plants in Mexico may not be able to open because Mexico is a, in a different point of this pandemic than we are. Um, what kind of problems do you think that that could potentially present for the automakers in your state? Because so much goes back and forth across the border uh, because of NAFTA or the new NAFTA. Well, that, that's right. I mean, we uh, get an awful lot of parts. If you think of the auto industry in this country, it's really a North American auto industry. Uh, for example, a trade with, with Canada. Of, of, the, of the three busiest border crossings in North America, two of them are here in Michigan uh, with, with Canada. But the amount of auto parts that come from Mexico is significant, uh, and those could cause a supply disruption. So the industry is watching uh, that uh, very closely. Uh, they operate a number of plants, obviously, uh, down there. Uh, and are going to need to have uh, that production to, to feed uh, the uh, the supply chain uh, so that uh, these uh, automobiles and trucks can be made. You have written to Secretary Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, asking him for funds for the auto suppliers. Why do you think the auto suppliers in particular need access to funds over other industries? And what response have you gotten? Well, the, the auto suppliers uh, need cash. Uh, they've been shut down for a number of weeks. Uh, your, the previous uh, interview talked about how you can't just turn a switch on, which is true. You've got to be able to get the auto suppliers up and running, but they haven't had cash flow and they don't get paid immediately. They have to wait before they actually get paid. And yet they have upfront costs of raw materials and labor costs that need to go into that. So what they're looking for are loans. Uh, there are Main Street loan program was part of the CARES Act to help businesses like auto suppliers. Uh, they need to have access to that money. Right now, they are frustrated that it's not working for them as it should, and certainly not the way Congress intended. We wanted to make sure that companies that were starting the process of reopening had working capital to be able to, to do that. And if you think about the auto industry just broadly, the auto industry is such a, um, a jobs multiplier and such a powerful force in manufacturing in the U.S. economy. Uh, the, the quicker the auto industry can come back, that means the quicker the entire U.S. economy can come back. But at the front end of an auto industry starting to come back are the auto suppliers that are that were open uh, started open last week started to ramp up their uh, production of those necessary parts uh, but they need working capital so our letter to secretary Mnuchin is let's work through whatever the problems are right now to get this money out but let's get these loans out allow the auto suppliers to get the capital they need so that we can uh, fuel the auto industry in a way that uh, jump starts uh, the entire economy